guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today we're going to be doing like a Q&A video, which I've been kind of like insinuating at on my uh, Instagram for a while. So I'm pulling up the first one, which is, uh, I don't even remember how long ago I posted this, but we're going to cherry pick through some of these, answer some of them, and then um, I did just post one yesterday. So I'm going to do most of those on here, but we'll go all the way back. Um... I have a lot of questions about Lux Rush and Devil's Advocate. Those are two things I want to get out of the way really quickly. Um, if you guys would like a full review on Miss Paris Hilton's Lux Rush, right over here, Deep. Um, let me know. I can. And then also, I did not buy Devil's Advocate, which is a Gizelio's perfume. I'm super excited about it. Just didn't hit right when I got it. Like, timing, I was saving for. Um, vacation and whatnot so I just haven't gotten around to buying it but um, I am excited to try that eventually. What is my favorite Ariana Grande fragrance? Well probably right now it's gonna be um, Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0 as I drop that. Um, this is a question I have seen a lot as well as like how do I get my hand on like rare or harder to find perfume bottles. Um, the biggest thing I do is I search. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of looking, you have to kind of know where to look, and over time it's taken me, um, time of just doing things, like, trying something, if it doesn't work out, then whatever, like, I've ordered a perfume off of some very sketchy websites sometimes, do not recommend it, um, but the perfume came out of the country here, so I, it worked, but, um, Doing YouTube has given me some connections as well through just like subscribers and whatnot like you guys have reached out to me and said like hey you live in X and X country and you wouldn't mind helping me out so that helps a lot um, but a lot of it's just searching the internet and scouring and trying to find ways to get my hands on them. What is my collection total? I have last time I counted 835 and that was a while ago so we're probably closer to 900 if not over 900 at this point but we'll say like 850 to be sure um my favorite perfume house is probably I'm gonna go with people as you see or juicy couture because I really do like theirs and I probably have the most of all of theirs second to probably Ariana Grande or Britney Spears um but definitely probably be with Juicy. Um, specifically be with Juicy. More specifically, like the whole collection. Of Juicy Couture. Um, someone asked me how many Shakiras I'm missing. So I know I'm missing two of the S's. Um, I'm missing S Kiss. Is it S? No, S not S Kiss. S Sugar and S Smile are the two I'm missing there. Um, I'm missing Wild Rock, is that what it's called? Wild Rock or Animal Rock, whatever it's called. No, I have Wild Rock, right? No, it's called Animal Rock, I believe. Um, I'm missing that one. I'm missing two dances. Um, I'm missing Dance Midnight. Moonlight? Moonlight. Moonlight. Yes, Dance M Moonlight. I don't like that they named those so close together. Dance Moonlight, and I'm also missing Dance Magnetic, which is like the yellow one. So if you happen to be somewhere where you can get those, let me know, because I need them. I'm also missing the two, like, Pop the Rock the Party um, from a while ago. I'm missing those as well. Um, what is... So, okay, so this I get a lot of questions about. This thing back here on... This thing is a, what's called a Chirac. Um, this little thin Britney Spears thing. It is an official Britney Spears thing. It's called a Shrock. You can find them on the internet. They're like $10. Um, I know that they have them on our eBay randomly all the time here. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for them. They're, they're very cheap and I love it. it. I've used that thing for so many different things. Um, my favorite Mariah Carey fragrance is probably either Dreams or Forever. Just because those two. Actually, no. Scratch all that. It's That Chick. That Chick by Mariah Carey is my favorite one. Um, Thank You Next 2.0 is super good. It's like apple, hard candy. I got someone to ask about that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go... I saw a round two up here. There we go. 
Uh, do, 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 do. A perfume I own but hate. I have two of them. One is this guy right here, which you guys know that. That's Jessica Simpson's Fancy Nights. It smells like a drunk Irishman. I have it to complete the collection. The other one is Adidas Born... Adidas... I don't even know which one it technically is. It's the shoe one. Um, it smells like a musty basement to me. And someone commented on one of my previous videos saying that they were surprised that I liked Toy because Toy... Uh, Toy 2 and that smell very similar to each other, and I don't see that. I only similarities I see is the fact that the colors are the same, like the fluid's the same color and the tap, the, the cap's the same. Other than that, I don't see any similarities, uh, but that's just me. Um, trying to find some others in here. What is my, and I've gotten this one a couple different times. What is my least favorite... Britney Spears perfume, and it is this one. You guys probably know that. It is, um, Believe, because it's just really patchouli heavy, and I'm not a big fan of patchouli. So, there's that. I'm just gonna go straight back to the one I posted yesterday, um, because I know that there's some repeating questions, and there was a lot on this one. So, have my top five Britney favorites changed? The answer to that question is yes. And I will show you my new order. So coming in at number five is now Glitter Fantasy. I really, really like this because it does have original like fantasy DNA in there, but it's different and I like that. I really do like that. It gives me that fantasy DNA that I do like, but it changes it so, so much. In at number four is Circus Fantasy. This, this jumped a few, as you can tell. I just have fallen even more in love with it than I had three years ago, even though I loved it back then. This is just a hard candy, um, a little bit of vanilla in there, but it's really, it kind of reminds me of Viola Juicy Sucre. Also kind of reminds me of that new uh, DKNY that I just got that I showed you guys in the previous video. That's a similar color to this. Um, it's just like a kind of like floral candy sweet, and I really, really like that. Number three is uh, Rainbow. This is so good. As you guys know, if you guys have this one, it's so good. I use it sparingly because it is harder to get of hers, but it is a very, 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 very good one. And my top two are still the same. So top two is the VIP Private Show for number two, and number one is In Bloom. I love this because it's so cherry, and I just love cherry scents. So the, my top five has changed. Um... What are my favorite notes in perfume? So I love peony, I love vanilla, especially bourbon vanilla. Um, but I like peony, I like um, kiwi. I really do like kiwi notes. I like pear and broxen, like the pear and broxen combination that God is a woman, love that combo. Um, I really like magazine type scents because I know the next question is, what's your favorite type of class? Woody, fruity, gourmand, floral. I would say fruity f and floral, fruity floral combined, and like clean florals, not like soapy florals, but the, like the really classic, clean, airy, breezy florals, like a lot of the Marc Jacobs daisies. I do really, really like those. Um, have I smelled Eau de Couture by Cher? I have not. Um, here's another question about Devil's Advocate by um, Biggie Azalea. I haven't gotten my hands on that yet, but would like to eventually. What are some discontinued fragrances that I wish I could add to my collection? As everyone probably says with this, if you ask them, as a fragrance collector, Misty or Cherie and the original formulation with the uh, popcorn note, I would die to have that just because it is a gem. Um, I also would like to have probably an original formula of Addict just because I have smelled that. Uh, my aunt used to wear that way back in the day. And so, like, just the original Addict would be nice to have. Um, but those are probably the two. Opinion of fragrance snobs that despise celebrity scents. This is something I could literally make an entire rant video about. Just because I cannot freaking stand people who are like, Oh, it's good for being a celebrity fan. It's good for a celebrity fan. Really? Most of these perfumes are designed by the same people who design your designer scents. Some of them last longer than your designer scents. 
and you're only caring because of the label that's on it. So if I took the label off of it and let you smell it, apparently my camera knew I was getting a little too heated because it overheated. So we're just gonna end again. Um, what is my favorite new release? Again, I'm gonna go with Thank You Next 2.0. This is such a good scent. Um, I did just see online through a Instagram post. Let me see if I can find that really quick for you guys. Um, do, boo. This is why you send things to your best friend. So credit to the person who posted this, but it does appear that there's going to be a Thank You Next 2.0 gift set at Walgreens. Um, and also a Jennifer Lopez original and enduring glow gift set. But that does appear to be a little miniature gift set with a little lotion and a mini spray. So, that's coming. Um, and I'll definitely be picking that up. Do, 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 do. We gotta go back to my thing so I can pull up the answers or the questions to ask. Any, you know what I meant. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. If I had to pick a theme for a new fantasy perfume, what would it be and smell like? Who? Um. Uh, let me think about that and I'll come back. No, we'll put that at the end. Do I own any niche fragrances? I don't believe so unless Bond Number Nines are counted as niche. I have two of those, but I don't really own any niche fragrances. Um, I would like to try some of them just to try some of them because I'm not going to be like the people who snob against celebrity fragrances. I would like to try them. I just think a lot of them for the price tag are just a little bit too high. Which celebrity do which celebrity fragrance do I personally think flop the most? This. How many? First of all, who knows what this is without like giving it away? This is Wanted by Jesse McCartney. This is very black licorice heavy, in my opinion, and I don't really see very many people talking about it. And it seems like it kind of just phased out super, super, super quick, and they got rid of it. So, that'd be my opinion on that one. What do I think of Fantasy Intense? Well, is Fantasy. Is it intense? Not much more. It has patchouli added to it, but I don't really see that. And it doesn't make it too much stronger or more intense. It's still Fantasy. Excuse me, I have like a hiccup or something. Anyway, next, how many fragrances do I own? Like I said, probably over 900 at this point, but we'll say... 850. Um, is there a maximum quantity that I'm reaching for as a goal and I'll stop collecting? No. Um, I don't collect for the number, I collect for like the collecting. So like, I eventually would like to have all of the Shakiras. Eventually, would it ever happen? No, but I would like to have all of the Angels, like all of the Mark Jacobs Daisies. Like I would like to eventually have a complete collection of everything that I collect, like the DKNYs, I would love to have all the apples. Is that actually going to happen someday? Probably not before they all go bad. I mean, I do air condition this room, as you probably can hear, um, but still, it's not a, probably not a feasible goal, but it's something I would like. Um, do I have all of the Beyonce perfumes? Yes. I would like to eventually get a new bottle of Shimmering Heat because, um, it's only a 50 mil, I believe, and I would like to have 100 mil, just to have all, all of them at 100 mil. Also, I need to get a new bottle of Summer, Paul Summer Edition, because I broke mine, like the pink part. So, yeah. Um, what got me into perfume? So, if you guys don't know this story, um, I'm a huge, huge, huge Taylor Swift fan. If you didn't already catch this, um, especially behind me. If you guys, okay, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but behind me, on my table is a, um, this is, okay, this right here is a Dolly Parton book. This, both here are Taylor Swift books. This is, uh, the Red Book and this is the Reputation book. This black box is a Beyonce Lemonade, the big gigantic 300 book thing. Then this is the Reputation, uh, VIP box. This is a book um, by a photographer who does a lot of, like, Miley Cyrus, has also shot a lot of Kim Kardashians, including the KKW Kimoji Hearts, so those are in this book, um, 
and then these little pillars are little owls. Um, this one's got a candle on it. This one over here has roller balls in it. Then there's two. Oh. Okay, I got cut off again. Anyway. Uh, these are both Katy Perry Killer Queen bottles. This is just like this big ass birdcage thing that's full of glittered roses from my Platinum Ro Platinum, this one, Platinum Rush photo shoot. This is an Ariana Grande free gift that lights up pink. And I got my lights back there to light up my perfumes when I'm doing these. And they're special, like, the bulbs I use have no UV in them, so they don't hurt the perfume bottles. Um, any other questions on here? How, well, okay, so what got me into perfume? Huge Taylor Swift fan. I started watching her, or when she released um, Wonderstruck, I was watching like YouTube reviewers, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll start my own little like, perfume collection. And um, I was like, oh, I could like create Spirit Fantasy, and it was like the same time that Gaga announced her perfume, and um, Nikki announced hers. Um, so I was like, oh, I can get these, so this would be cute. Little did I know it would turn into this. I've always had a passion for, like, fragrance and things that smell good. Um, I always used to steal, like, my sister's body sprays, and, like, I used to get trouble trouble for, like, burning candles or melting candles or anything, like, fragrant in my house when I was growing up I used to get in trouble for um, because I loved it. Like, I just loved smells and always wanted to make my room smell good and make myself smell good. Um, and that kind of stuff. So, and then, um, other questions. What is the most unique celebrity perfume in my collection? I would probably say Gaga. Honestly, she probably holds the record for the most unique because no one really is black liquid that turns air, like it does something and not really a lot do that. So, and then one that I did have that was a sub question that was sent to me um, and it wasn't sent through there because it was sent from someone special and they wanted to know and I don't I'm not gonna out the person who said this but they wanted to know that um, the people who I become friends with while collecting perfumes such as the fragrant holic mini molly um, boy loves fragrance um, perfume maniac etc etc they want to know like how I feel about seeing them slowly drop off one by one and know that like their passions have kind of dropped off. So I miss a lot of the original YouTubers who started reviewing the same time I reviewed or was reviewing around the same time I did um, originally like when I was uploading all the time and when um, perfumes were coming out a lot faster when they were celebrity fragrances. Um, I know a lot of them, you know, things happen, they grow up, they move on. Same with me, I don't upload as much as I used to. Life changes, passions change. I still am very passionate about fragrances and about all of this. It's just sometimes very hard, um, especially with anxiety and depression, to muster up the courage to sit down and review. Um, but I would love for if any of them, like if M Minnie Molly still watches this or if any of you guys know her and can send this to her, or um, Perfume Maniac 101. I would love for them to come back and say hi. Um, just to kind of just say hi to all of us. Let us know how their lives are doing. Um, we still think about them. We still love them. Um, not saying I don't love the new YouTube and everybody new who I've met and became friends with because I've met some amazing people recently. Um, and just even within the last couple of years, even within the last year, I've met a lot of you guys, and you guys have changed my life as well. It definitely helped me start to have the passion again to sit back down and start filming and review for you guys. So, hopefully, this will be the last video on this camera. Um, I did order a new microphone, so hopefully I'll be able to go back to the other one. And we'll have a better audio, because the microphone will be here this time, instead of all the way over there. So... Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.